Hello mentors, in this video I am going to show you how we can create online attendance app using MIT App Inventor. So here we go. So first we need to click on a start new project. Click on this and my project name is ETT and OK. In this app we are going to take attendance online or we will save their attendance directly to the Google seat. So we need here two things. First thing is face recognizer okay so what we will do we will create model here okay so it's an ai model okay so that's the link i will show you uh, open the new tab and just type here app inventor classifier okay and as you can see the classifier.appinventor.mit.edu open this now, as you can see, click on this uh, plus icon and you can define your label. So, suppose let me just define the Sabrina, okay, and enter. And now I need to put Sabrina image, okay. So, you have some students, so you need to put their three and four images in that label, okay. So, let me just put the Sabrina images. So, I have that, okay. So, what I will do, I will just put create, put all these two images like here. Okay, and this is called Sabrina. Click on again and I just say the Tony star and enter and classifier like this one. And I have one more this one. So let me just create one more student is Alon. And what I need to do, I need to just click on trend here and wait some seconds. You can put multiple students' images here, okay? And the website name is classifier.appinventor.mit.edu. I will give you that link in the description. So that's the first step to create model in our app. Okay, and as you can see, the model is created and classification is Elon, Tony, and Sabrina. So let me just put uh, one image here, okay? So what I will do, I will put the Tony image here, okay? Or Sabrina image. And let's see uh, how this app will detect this image as as you can see the Sabrina, its confidence is 98.95, okay. So now this model is working fine. Now I need to click on export model and that's my, I have model.mdl file. So go to the MIT Apparenter and that's our app here, okay. It's a fast screen. So what I need to do, I need to just drag and drop here one label like this, one web browser and one button. It's simple and click on label and make this as a result like this make it 20 click on the screen and make this an inner center both things click on that button and change that to attendance attendance make it 16 and make this background color to the pink or something cool now that's our app here i will change that screen name also so from here i will just say attendance like this cool so now that's our app here now i need to drag and draw one more thing is web so left side you will find the option of connectivity and as you can see the web just drag and drop it here like this now click on extension okay and we need to download we need to upload one extension here so go to the mit app inventor extension website okay that is a github link i will give you that link also in the description you need to download personal image classifier this extension so download this Go to the MIT App Inventor, click on import and import that extension here. Just drag and drop that extension here, okay? And in the right side, as you can see that model, see in that extension, click on that model and click on upload file. And we already have exported one model, okay? Okay, so we already have uploaded one model, right? So we need to drag and drop that model file here and okay. It's done. Okay, so that's our model. Now, you can input more is video and the image. So, I will choose the video like this. Cool, so that's our design part. Now, go to the block section here. And now, we need to click on this personal image classifier. And as you can see, when the personal image classifier is ready, then I will change my label name, set label text to true or I just say the ready. Okay, so it's just like it takes some seconds only. To, uh, ready like this okay so when it's ready that i will i can capture the image okay so what i will do as you can see when the court call, uh, classification i will call classify video data this one but when i need to call this i need to call this on that button click 
like this. So whenever someone click on that button, we need to classify all of that video data. Okay. And whenever we classify the data, it means when classic event the got classification this one then we need to use your condition simple first what we will do we will set the username it means classify data name okay and the classify status or classify result we have to display in label so it's simple set label or you just copy from here set label dot tax and this is it's a result or it's not a text value it's a list value okay so what i will do i will cl click on list here and i will select the first item from the list okay so list select list item this one and from which list it's a result list and the index is one okay this one like this so what i will i will get the higher percentage value if they uh, if the our software is confident about uh, sabrina is 95 percent so this will display in the first okay so we will get that first letter first uh, first name so what i will i will get that something uh, like uh, is json format so what i will do i will use here one simple condition i can replace that text one thing that i can do or i can do one more thing is here i can use simple condition here okay so there are a lot of way to display the name okay so it's simple way i will show you if click on text and as you can see the if the content text if contains text is sabrina okay so if says like sabrina Sabrina, then okay, uh, okay, sorry, it's a piece of text is Sabrina, and in in which text in the level one text, okay, so level one dot text is Sabrina. Then I will set that set level value to the Sabrina like this. So I need to do simple thing again. I'll say if I will choose here, I'll say one, I'll say two, and the same thing I have to apply again level 2 and if that contain is tony okay then i will set that level is tony stark like this and same thing i have to apply again is like if the level is value is alone then i will set that is value to alone Elon Musk like this now this thing will classify the data now we have a result now we have to upload that result we have to save that result in the excel sheet so how we can do this so go to the my drive okay and in the left side you'll find the new option and click on google sheet okay so we have to save our all values entry attendance in that sheet so i will just say that my sheet name is attendance attendance new okay and that column name is name like this okay now go to the mit implementer uh go to the my drive sorry and we need to create one script we need to write one script so i will give you that code okay so click on new and as you can see click on more option and you will find the app script google app script click on this and we need to write simple code so we just need to copy and paste that code so i will give you that code okay so i have that code so in the google and just copy that code okay and uh, we just need to paste that code here like this and we need to change in that code what we need to change here okay so as you can see here spread seat this one so we need to change that uh, seat link okay you have to change that so what you do you need to go to the seat option that we have created click on share option okay like this and you will get the option of restricted so just select this to any with this link okay anyone with this link click on that copy link okay or you can select that editor make sure because we have to edit that so anyone can add it in this link using that copy link copy link and then done okay now go to the untitled project here and we need to paste that link here like this paste it and again we need to do same thing here again like this okay like this now what you need to do we need to deploy this so click on deploy here and uh, new deployment so save audio instances first save that project so i just say a double t and that rename this okay just save that project 
and deploy this and you just say new development deployment so and you find the option of your setting click on this and it can be the web app just select this description you can close it or it attendance app web app as user accessing the app. web app who has access and even with this google account and deploy this done you just need to copy that link here okay and just click on done now just go to the mit app Network project and we need to click on that first procedure we need to create one procedure simple here on the procedure we will call this web and this web is we need to call this url so set web url this one here and we said that text is empty like this here and we need to copy this text to here just copy that link from here and just paste it here okay and then we need to save we need to call this link with the name so what i will do i will just first attach to this this one is working fine or not so what i will do i will open new tab just paste it here okay and then i'll just say question mark name equal saurabh and then enter let's say it's working or not on fine or not wait some seconds let's see what what we have done uh, whenever i paste this as you can see the review permission so i need to click on review permission and i have to sign with my google again and i have to allow this okay click on advance click on go to the att app on save yes and you need to allow this click on allow it's done okay make sure you have to test this this script is completed and let's go to the google seat here and see that printed sorrow so we need to apply that code in our in our app inventor okay so make sure you have to done this simple part to allow the permission to the script okay so let's go to the mit app inventor okay you already have pasted pasted it now we just need to call this one here it's called text and you will see the join option click on web and you see the post option here post text this one okay so this one just call it here click on join and we need to just say the text is name okay name equal and we need to another thing is that the value is the value is our label one okay label one dot text it's simple cool now what we need to do we need to call that procedure on button click okay so on that button click that see we uh, have we have classified the data right so what i need to do i need to call that uh, procedure so so i will call that in that here so just call this procedure and call and call this procedure after completing that process after this completing process right so we need to call this it's simple now just or you can just change the procedure name is awt like this so go to the design and click on personal image classifier and you will see the web viewer so we have to select any web viewer so we have drag and drop that uh, already web viewer one so select this one like this we need to just take a picture of our student so i have three students in my class so as you can see alon sabrina and tony so what i need to do i need to take picture of them so what i will do i will just go here like this and just click on attendance and as you can see the top bottom is sabrina and let me show you that google seat and as you can see here is sabrina okay now let's take picture of another one is like tony so like this and let's focus this see tony and wait some seconds and as you can see this tony so what i can do i can take picture of uh, alon also so let's see how how this app will detect Elon? See Elon Musk, okay, and just go to the seat and see Elon Musk. So it's really amazing app where you can take online attendance using this app, okay. That's the amazing app that we have created. So if you need any help on that, so just comment in the video. I'll try my best to solve your problems. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, like this video, and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye bye.